comme tout le Putain de merde. Ok, the upside of this fucking mouse pad is that it masks my French accent. But I have to do with that. So, I saw this video by Barton Musical Circuits promoting their multi PWM module and I immediately loved it. Now they have many fun little modules and they're quite inexpensive, so if you can get one, I suggest you do. Unfortunately, customs in Belgium have rendered buying these overseas quite prohibitive, so I wondered, can I use a combination of the modules I have here to achieve the same effect? Spoilers, the answer is yes, and you can do it with rather generic modules too. All you need is a triangle VCO, any shape except pulse or square really, but triangle is the simplest to visualize. Then you need a VCA, preferably a high gain capable, and then you need a bit crusher, and the bit crusher is the crucial element here. Now if you don't have a bit crusher, um, a quantizer can do it, provided it responds fast enough. So let's take out a bunch of modules and build ourselves a little wave shaping setup, shall we? Okay, what do we have here? This is my oscillator. Any oscillator would do, so the brand doesn't matter. This is what I will use as a VCA. It's the Bifaco A times B plus C. It is more than a VCA and I won't be showcasing it here. Uh, suffice it to say that this is gain, this is offset. We won't be using offset. Um, everything is bipolar, as you can see. Zero is at noon. And this is a second channel of the same thing. This cable is cascading both channels so we can get twice the amplification. This is set to max amplification, so we will control everything from zero to 400% from here, this knob. This is an oscilloscope just so we can see what's happening. And this is the bit modifier from Dupfer. Um, it's pretty good. Before that, I tried Rebel Technologies bit reactor, but I ended up selling it because it was too dirty for my taste. And this one is much more controllable. Oh, and by the way, you know how some people say the four modules sound dull? Well, I'm one of those people. So when I say this one sounds good, you can really take it to the bank. Finally, I added this filter. Um, it's the Intelligel Morgasmatron, which is version 3 of the Corgasmatron. It doesn't matter, any filter would do. Um, you don't necessarily need a filter, but I thought some high passing would be nice because everything interesting happens in the higher harmonics. But we'll start without the filter anyway. You see here, it's set to dry, so it's bypassed. This is an envelope because later on we will automate some sweeps. It's make noises function. I really happen to like this one, but once again, the brand and model don't matter. So let's hear the triangle wave from the oscillator. It's already going through the bit crusher, but the bit crusher doesn't really crush any bit right now. It's clipping a little bit, but that doesn't matter either. Maybe you can hear already a little bit of high-pitched noise from the bit crusher. We're going to jack it up. This is the amount of bit crushing. The more clockwise I turn this knob, the less bits there are. So the more crushed the wave is. Let's settle on something quite harsh, but with still some steps. And now let's vary the level of the triangle wave going into the bit crusher. Isn't that nice? Now we could get more amplification. I actually turned this down a little bit before starting the video so the waves would superimpose nicely. 
now you can control here from zero to the max. Let's try with another bit crushing setting, like this. So this is nice and all, but the high pass filter will really bring out what we're doing here. Let's turn up the oscilloscope sensitivity. The yellow wave is what's coming out of the high pass filter. Let's try another amount of beats. Is it an amount of bits or a number of bits? I never know. Anyway. This is getting interesting. So I cheated a little bit here because you see I set up a little bit of resonance in the filter. Without it, it works too. But it's, it's a bit nicer. This is too much and as you can hear I picked a frequency that was harmonic to the fundamental which is a C by the way. This is, this is just one bit. This is super gross. This is too much. This is two bits. Hence, four steps. Three bits. That's seven steps. Okay. Now let's automate some sweeps. This is the envelopes. Output, uh, oh, I should have, um, how smart of me, forgot the screws. Um, this is, yeah, A, B, C, that's not very intuitive, but this is the CV input for this control. So, jacked up to the max, cycle the envelope. And now let's try some melody. I've added this four step sequencer. I dispensed with a quantizer, so I hope you're indulged this slightly out of tune melody. This is my clock. Let's copy the clock into the envelopes trigger. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's too soon. And now the output of the sequencer into the frequency control of the oscillator. Let's open the envelope. Thank you. 
Let's add some offset. And I have no idea if that would do any good. So normally on a regular VCA you wouldn't have offset. Uh, this is a nice feature of the Bifaco A times B plus C, which I'm not sure Barton's module can do. Yeah, I can't decide whether this is interesting. Okay, I just used the computer uh, that you cannot see, but it's recording, and I have tuned the sequence. Also, now we have a steady tempo of 135 BPM, and we are recording. Let's add some multiplication. What we haven't tried yet is add some distortion. There is a distortion circuit here within the filter and uh, well, it's a bit all or nothing. You'll see what I mean. with the sequence for now. Let me take this out. Here we go. We don't need this anymore. Maybe one octave lower. Yeah. Let's try to get the high pass filter one octave lower too. Okay. Now I'd like to try something new with you guys. This will be highly experimental. I've never tried it before and we'll see how it turns out. So I am going to pass the oscillator through a wave folder. I choose this wave folder, Synthrotex Fold, because it's very clean. And I think we want that before bit crushing, if we don't want it to get too messy. Now a good question is, do we wave fold before the wave amplification or after the wave amplification. Uh, let me remind you that the amplification happens before bit crushing. I think I'll settle on a compromise because remember we have 
two stages of amplification, one after the other. So I suppose we can insert whoa, the wave folding here between both amplifications and see which order is best. So out of stage one into the wave folder. And from the wave folder into stage two. Now let's stop displaying all those waves on top of each other here in the oscilloscope. I'm just keeping the dry wave, which is not so dry anymore because it's coming through the wave folder and it's not working because this is not the input. This is. Okay, so when I said, oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe we should turn off the distortion, right? Okay, so this is dry. And I, I'm still hearing something. Oh. Okay, now the filter is completely off and we're still hearing something unholy. Oh. It's the beat crusher. We don't see it, but we hear it. Okay. Bye bye, beat crusher. Okay. Now. Um, what I'm going to do is just synchronize the oscilloscope to the pulse wave from the same oscillator, otherwise it's going to dance around and uh, we, we won't see, we won't be able to discern anything. Yes, this is better. Okay. Now let's Bit crush this thing. It was obviously com coming into the bit crusher much too loud. So yes, let's do this. Adjust the oscilloscope scale. So apparently what's right is to adjust the level before the wave folder. Yeah, that's nice enough. Let's change to bit crushing, okay. Put the high pass filter back in. My favorite setting for the beat pressure is really one, be uh, two beats, yes, four steps. I, I always seem to come back to that. I'm just playing around with the, the wave folder here. That's the amount of folds I am changing, increasing the amount of folds. The wave folder is only 50% wet here. That would be 100%. There is some asymmetry. This is without it. Not much of a difference, right? So, changing the level before the wave folder will 
change the number of folds and changing the gain after the wave folder will affect the bit brushing. So my verdict would be this. A complex waveform is not very interesting for this bit pressure wave shaping trick. I am now changing the input level into the bit pressure and the effect is not as dramatic as it was before. Changing the level before the wave folder, that is dramatic. But what we are doing now is just wave folding with some static bit brushing at the end. Yeah. Let's turn the bit brushing all the way off. See what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, it's good, but. But it's nothing fancy. I'm just recording some sweeps anyway, so... Oh, let's be clean and automate them, right? Turn the, the display of the filters output back on. So the yellow wave is what we're actually hearing. Let's try the sine wave. Let's turn the distortion back on. Okay, now let's try something completely different. Let's reset everything here. Filter off. Distortion off. Instead of just using one triangle wave as a source, we will mix two 
waves. Uh, oh, by the way, we haven't tried this. Um, a saw wave. the sink back in for the oscilloscope. Here you go. So basically any wave shape would do except a square or a pulse obviously. Now what you need is a slope. Now let's try to mix Two slightly detuned so wave. Yeah, well, why not so? Yeah, sure. Now, this A times B plus C is also a mixer. I have no time to do a whole review of it now, but trust me, it is a mixer. Um, I was planning to use this mixer, but uh, you know what? I I'm going to use this mixer anyway because it's simpler and visually less confusing. Um, so, this goes into input one. A little bit too short. So, so wave, input one. So wave of this other oscillator, input two. I got this attenuator slash mixer from Japan and uh, it's uh, just for showing off sake. It's, it's just a mixer and a bunch of attenuator and a quad CV source. Or is it? Yeah. Now I've got to tune my oscillators and for that I need to get everything a little bit quiet and, 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 and normal for a change. Um, I'm doing this by ear. Man, seems about right. Now, while the camera was accidentally off, I plugged the envelope back in so as to animate some sweeps that I am recording. I must say I am pleasantly surprised because, look here, this is my script. And see what I wrote here? We could try a blend of slightly detuned sows. Hmm, it gets messy quickly. That's what I was expecting to have to say. But it's not that messy. It's quite good actually. I, I, it's a good surprise. Check the tuning. Huh.
these sounds we made today are available to Patreons. In addition to being playable in really anything that eats WAV files, they are especially formatted as Serum wavetables, which is a de facto standard for many wavetable readers, both hardware and software. All this will be part of an extensive wavetable collection that I will release commercially sometime in 2021, but Patreons get pre-releases basically every time I sample something. And if I were you, I'd do what's known as a hit and run. Become a Patreon for one month, pay just one euro, download this stuff, and then cancel your patronage. Please don't do that, but I would if I were you. That's it, I hope you enjoyed this video, I know I did, I hope you'll be back soon, I know I will. I'm planning to do this on a regular basis, and uh... I actually have, I actually, I actually have a whole sampling setup involving distortions and the like, which I miss, which I miss, which, which, which I may show you, bordel de merde which I may show you sometime if you'd like, in addition to, in addition to being, in addition to being usable in any application, in addition to being usable in any application or device using WAV files, WAV files, they are specially formatted as Serum wavetables, which is a de facto standard for many wavetable readers. Oula. This video is too long already and there's still a bunch of stuff I haven't edited in yet. So I guess I'll edit a bonus video that I post to Patreon in which you'll see me um, try the other modes of the Dupfer Beat modifier. Because you see Beat Crushing is only mode 1 but it has 16 modes. So I tried them all and it wasn't as good as I expected, but there are still a few interesting sounds in there. Also, it will be less heavily edited, so you'll see me fiddle around a little more. Um, yeah, I guess that's what people do anyway. I'm quite new to this. Um, this is the most elaborate video I've ever done, so I really didn't know what to expect in terms of length and wow, half an hour, whoa. Mm-hmm.